Welcome to Backup World. Today we'll learn about SLA domains in the rubric. So what is SLA domain? SLA domain is a set of rules which uh, are defined like a uh, uh, type of backup, backup frequency, retention period, backup window, secondary locations, replications, uh, retention lock. These are the uh, uh, rules we can define in SLA domain. So uh, how to create SLA domain? First of all, navigate to data protection. From data protection, select uh, SLA domain. Under SLA, uh, SLA domain, we can uh, hit on create. SLA, create. There we can see uh, a type of you know objects we can protect in this SLA domain like uh, vSphere VMs, Hyper-View VMs, uh, databases, file set backups. Uh, cloud exchange all other uh, objects which all we can protect from this sla domain next backup frequency uh, here we can uh, select a uh, snapshot frequency every minute or hour days weeks months quarters yearly and uh, respective uh, retention periods here we can select uh, hours days weekly weeks months quarters like that then there is snapshot window which is optional if we don't select snapshot window whenever we assign uh, sla domain to object immediately backup starts if we select uh, a snapshot window accordingly backup starts and there is one more option of uh, full uh, full snapshot a uh, uh, first full snapshot here uh, we can custom this range like uh, when first full backup should run till uh, start time and end time so that it won't run in during business hours Next, archival and replications. So archival uh, location is, you know, uh, either we can uh, send secondary copy to either other clusters or any NAS storage or cloud storage. We can uh, create archival locations and we can configure here. Then replication. Replication is uh, uh, we can replicate to one cluster to other cluster. So replication target we should select and uh, replication uh, retention period uh, we have to define here. Next one object specific configurations like you know if we select uh, object type either SQL backup so we should select uh, SQL log retentions and if we select Oracle databases in first slide uh, we should select uh, uh, archive logs retentions and uh, frequencies here and if we select vmware uh, uh, virtual machines this is an optional again uh, continuous data protection so that also we can select uh, uh, frequency next sla domain name sla domain name as per uh, our standards we can uh, mention and create so we can clone the sla domain uh, if we have already have uh, sla domain from there uh, we can clone or uh, we can use existing options like objects or uh, uh, backup start time i mean windows retention policies everything we can keep and uh, wherever uh, we need to change so that only we can change and rename the uh, SLA domain name so it, it would it would be faster than uh, other so creating new so we can uh, we can pause SLA domain if the uh, backup should not run uh, which are assigned to this SLA domain there we can uh, that time we can pass SLA domain so until we uh, unfreeze uh, it will get uh, Paused. Next, apply SLA domain. Apply SLA domain. Uh, navigation is data protection, inventory, uh, inventory all, 
we can select if we want to protect vSphere VMs, so we can select vSphere VMs and click on uh, VM which we need to uh, protect. Click on click on the specific vSphere VM and uh, click on manage protections. So it goes to next uh, slide. So here uh, uh, we can assign SLA domains which we already created. So there are two more options. Uh, if we already have if server is decommissioned or if there is if customer doesn't want to take backup of this VM, that time we can select do not protect. When we select do not protect, it will ask for uh, uh, expire uh, uh, snapshots or uh, retain like that so that we have to select and clear next one clear existing assignments so we can uh, clear the uh, assignment if we already selected SLA domain then click next so we will get confirmation screen just click on confirm and so it will be assigned to SLA domain that's it for today Thank you.